Hey, hi friend, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to understand about facade design pattern and we will see the example that how it can be implemented it in iOS and Swift. Now facade pattern is required when we have large number of independent entity independent class doing its own task. Now let's say that consider a uh, real-time example let's say that uh, you are building a home theater system in your home and uh, for that what you will require you require that let's say that if I enter a room and I have to switch on the home theater system there can be multiple you know, aspects of home theater system let's say that for example if I have a television I have a, a sound system and I want to turn off my lights and I'll tell that a kind of home theater system is ready for my home so how many tasks basically I'm doing? I'm doing the task of uh, switching on the television, switching on the sound system and turning off the light. And all these tasks are independent classes uh, or I can say that independent tasks. Like it's not like that if I turn on the television first and turn off light later, it will have any impact. Okay, and that's what the definition here also if you see that uh, uh, a facade is an object that serves as a front facing interface making more complex underlying or a structural code. So if you see in terms of this uh, example that I was talking here that you can consider the home theater system as a facade which in turns is doing three tasks for you. What are those three tasks? It is turning on the television, it is turning on the major system and it is turning off the light when you want to switch on your uh, home theater mode and if you want to switch off your home theater mode then it is again turning off the television turning on the light and turning off the music system now let's see that how it can actually make your code simpler more readable more scalable now in this example this is a very simple uh, app that I have created that here I have a button in the screen if you see uh, it will appear right now which button have two title actually one will be the start home theater and one will be stop home theater so if you see right now it says start home theater and the moment you click the start home theater then what will happen that I have this view model so which is linked with this view so the button action will tell the view model that please turn on the system and then the view model is going to start the home theater and if you see here the view model has a dependency of television room light and sound system and if you see television class it's a concrete class which confirms to television protocol which have two method switch on the TV and switch off the TV okay no, it's not doing anything apart from the print and the same thing goes for the sound system two method one for turning on one for turning off and the same thing goes for the room light turning on the light and turning off the light and all these are injected through dependency into the view model okay now everything works fine let's say that if I start the home theater if you see television is on light is off sound system is on and if I stop it then television is off, light is on, sound system is off. Okay. But what is problem with the system? Now one of the problem if you see that my dependencies is unnecessarily getting overloaded or overcrowded into my uh, view model. Let's say that if I have more and more dependencies, it will be a kind of overloaded constructor injection. Right. And if there is some other uh, class or some other screen which has to turn on the system then they also has to implement the same method right that they have to also inject this dependencies and then start uh, the television like switch on the television and then again when you want to stop the home theater you have to switch off the light everything now instead of in you know, like showing all this interface to the view model we it is a better that we can use this facade design pattern and now if you see the diagram of this facade design pattern what it does that you have this see client client you can understand in this case is this view 
and then this package you can understand that this three package like this is a television this is sound system and this is your uh, room light now instead of your client directly talking to this package we will introduce a layer which is the facade layer and we will tail this facade layer to do something and then this facade layer will talk to these packages okay so what i'm going to do i have created this home theater facade and now instead of having all these dependencies in the view model i can send this dependency to my facade home theater facade and again this uh, init method and this start and home this all thing i can push to my home theater facade now what is the task of this home theater facade it will just start the home theater it will stop the home theater okay if you want to make it more uh, protocol oriented then you can even have uh, uh, further uh, protocol here let's say that if i define home theater facade protocol and uh, this will have two method so this i'm just doing so that it should not have any tight coupling in the code okay and this class will confirm to this protocol and implement these two method okay now in my view model instead of having all those method my view model will have just one thing in the init and that will be the object of this protocol type this home theater facade so let me create this object here so private let home theater and this is going to be typed this and this we can initialize it in our init method through dependencies okay and i can just initialize this and now i can pass this value here okay so now i have this home theater object with my view model and what we have to do instead of calling this we have to call through home theater interface right now we have uh, this facade layer which is taking care of my television sound system and room light and this view model is talking through this protocol okay now let me run it again and we'll see if i'm getting the correct output so let me delete the log and if you see television is on light is off sound system is on we are in home theater mode and now let me stop it so now the television is off light is on and sound system is off okay now there are many huge cases of this facade uh, layer like one of the places where i commonly use is that if you see or uh, generally your uh, app delegate classes uh, we do lot of uh, thing on the did finish launch with options like you know we start our analytics crash analytics some other sdk and many other other checks so many things uh, being just handled in one method now instead of there if i create a facade layer that and then just ask that facade layer that hey the app wants to start like the the app did finish launching has been called and then that facade layer can further take care of all those initialization process it will really help you to segregate your code and write more clean code so hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video and uh, if you have not uh, subscribed the channel then please do subscribe it thanks for watching thank you